today, Sunday, September 6, 2015. From NBC News, this is Today. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Just days ago, President Obama became the first sitting U.S. president to enter the Arctic Circle. He spoke to residents of one small Alaskan village who are dealing with rising seas and disappearing land and ice. Residents in a number of native towns may be forced to flee because of the changing climate. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff takes us to Kivalina, Alaska. Welcome aboard. Only tiny cargo planes can land down there on that island called Kivalina. Above the Arctic Circle. The 400 Americans who live here could soon become this nation's first climate change refugees. Basically, that is what we would be. Refugees. Winter storms are literally eating the village alive. Crashing ocean waves are eroding the island once protected by huge chunks of sea ice. It's a sad thing. The same ice that protected their ancestors and reliably froze over for the winter hunt. Everything is gone. The ocean is empty like. As recently as the 1970s and 80s, village elders remember the winter Arctic sea ice growing to 10 feet in thickness. But this past year, it came down to three feet not thick enough to hunt on and not thick enough to protect the village either. The climate change has caused so much problem. A congressional audit and the Army Corps of Engineers have identified these four Alaskan villages in desperate need of immediate relocation, saying climate change is the issue here. The Corps sent this rock that came from Nome. For now, the big rock wall is holding just barely. The plan here is to move everyone off the island. But that will cost millions. We have to keep our lifestyle alive. With less ice to protect them and less food to sustain them, even the berries they pick are changing. Everything has changed. How we, how we gather our food, all of it has changed. We just adapted to those changes because they were subtle. But now the Arctic Ocean is quickly melting away the only life they've known. Shelter from the storm is just two and a half miles that way, but moving everybody and everything is expensive and difficult here 80 miles above the Arctic Circle. For today, Dave Malkoff in Kivalina, Alaska. You think about the impact of climate change in faraway places, remote islands in the South Pacific, but the idea of climate change refugees mm -hmm. from the United States and the image of the 10 feet of sea ice in the past yeah. now being just a couple feet. And, and the striking. woman who said, you know, we, we've adapted because of the, to these changes, but they've been so subtle. But this mm -hmm. is so much happening mm -hmm. so quickly. Yeah. There's no really, time to adapt. No, it happens there that isn't. quickly, you have to leave. Yeah. It's you nice to get the opportunity things. to have Dave take us up there. It's yeah. a place in this world that we don't see often enough. Mm -hmm. Coming up next. Hey, it's Dave. Just one more second. That story you just watched is actually part of a larger 4K Ultra HD documentary on what's going on in Alaska. You're in luck. You can watch it right now by clicking this button. And since you're watching on YouTube, you can see it in that stunning 4K Ultra HD quality. Hey, if you're new to the channel, Welcome on in. I'd love you to subscribe. If you just hit this button, you can see all of my reports from the last 20 years or so. So I have hundreds of videos on here on hundreds of different topics. Thanks for watching and hopefully you can subscribe by clicking here in the documentary. Of course, you can click here to watch that.